Just about one week in, and the Progressive Liberal Party still riding high on its September 16th victory that saw the Davis-led party unseat the Minnis administration by an overwhelming margin in 2021. The latest to tout his ministry's successes alongside its to-do list is the Minister of Social Services. He spoke with our Cleopatra Murphy. Honey, everything okay? Uh, everything's fine. Shop online for free in-store pickup in two hours or less. The Progressive Liberal Party has made significant progress during its first year of governance, but Minister of Social Service and Urban Development, the Honorable Obi Wilshkum, insists the Davis administration is just getting started. He says the Ministry of Social Services, through its efforts, is making an impact. I'm very pleased that we've been able to increase the uh, provisions for our clients at 10% across the board. But there's much more to be done. Too many of our people are still not uh, sleeping with a roof over their heads. Too many of our people are still in search of job opportunities. Too many of our people are still suffering from health care issues that we in social services must attend to. And too many of our disabled are still not being considered equal. Legislatively, he says government has been able to address issues from the blue, orange economy and green economies through the carbon credits bill. With worrying issues like crime, he says the agenda will get even more aggressive. We want to answer these issues. We want to be able to be that holistic government, the government that caters to all men and people of our country in all the right ways. With the party touting successes in tourism's resurgence and a rebounding of the economy, Wilshkom says Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis is about action. Uh, we're reminded every day, too much talk, he says. Let's get it done. Because over the many years, he's watched Bahamians uh, endure a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. And in particular, have you seen his passion, particularly for those persons who were affected by Hurricane Dorian, those persons in Abaco and uh, East Grand Bahama. And uh, the message to us all is we have to do more. Wilshkom says ultimately, there are many things still to be dealt with, and Bahamians voted the PLP into office because they wanted a better life. People are going to judge you on your actions, not by your words. You know, action speaks loud in words. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.